What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming bringing you a fantastic video today. In today's video we are playing Lord of the Rings Rise to War, which is an amazing baseball that just came out two and a half days ago. You have to play it, it's my favorite one in a long time. So, in today's video we're going to talk about an extremely specific topic. We're going to talk about commander items or commander equipment, whatever you want to call it, alright? To access that you're going to either click on your commanders and see their equipment on themselves or you're going to go to your inventory at the items satchel here click that sucker open and you're going to first tab here open up your equipment okay you've got helmets uh weapons uh, chests and trinkets okay so four types of equipment that your commander can wear now in this video we're going to talk about a few very specific things okay a we're going to talk about well you know what let me just open up the analytical part. We'll start with that. If you're still with me after I do the analysis, then I'll give you my opinions. But let me just give you the good stuff first. Here we go. All right. You can clearly see I prepared this for you ahead of time. We have example one, the Urakai broadsword. Okay, we have example two, another Urakai broadsword. Example three and four are orc scimitars, and each one is different from the other one. We're going to walk through how and why right now, okay? So first things first, I want to tell you that if you use gold equipment and it's not leveled up, it's not stronger than a fully leveled up blue piece of equipment, okay? So if you can fully level up a blue piece of equipment, use that instead of your gold with zero stars. If you can get some purple stars, it'll be stronger than the blue, but I just want to make that very clear. Gold equipment with zero stars... Uh, the only benefit to using that is its rare ability is usually a little bit stronger than that on the blue piece of equipment, okay? There are some gold pieces of equipment that have amazing abilities. If you want to use them for that, fine, but I just want you to know from a raw stats standpoint, blue stats at three star max leveled can compete with gold. All right. Give me the like and sub, by the way. WTF, why haven't you subbed yet? Why haven't you subbed yet? <laughs> I have no sleep. I have newborn, and I, this game just came out. Leave me alone. All right, here we go. Let's get into it. First things first, example one. This is a 100%, ref, uh, I don't know what the word to call this, 100% utilization, right? When you use these pieces of equipment in the field, not in mock training, but when you actually go attack tiles or do sweeps, um, you gain utilization points. At 100% utilization points, the statistics on these uh, equipment go to their full potential based on their stars for their strength and their refinement, okay? I hope that's clear. If you don't use the equipment and you just equipped it to a commander, it's going to be very weak compared to equipment that uh, that has been leveled up to 100%. I'm going to show you a clear example of that right now. Here on levels, uh, here on um, examples three and four, you can see a two-star, two-star orc scimitar in example four with 0% utilization, its maximum might is four, its maximum speed is seven. Now if we jump over to a three-star scimitar, that's 100% utilized, it's gone from four might to 12 might, it's gone from seven speed to 18 speed, and it's overall a massively stronger weapon. Okay, that gets right to our next example, two compared to three. Now if we jump up and we look at uh, two compared to three, two is a four-star uh, which is a silver stars, four strength, two refinement. The gold stars represent refinement. So I have four strength stars and two refinement stars compared to the three star orc scimitar. We're looking at 30 statistic points plus two to the army HP. Hard to compare exactly apples to apples because the dual stats down here don't really calculate well with the army HP stat. Uh, they're not one to one, but it uh, can suffice to say that the Example two is significantly stronger than the example three, which is significantly stronger than the example four. Now, if we get to example one here, you can see uh, that this has zero stars. This is leveled up to 100%, so it does have a might of 12 and an HP of one. But you can clearly see going from zero stars to four stars gives me from 12 might to 30 might, and from one HP to my army to two HP to my army. And by the way, when some of these units only have like 34 HP, 2 HP, I mean, you're looking at, that's whatever, 7% of the total HP, right? So this is a big bonus. If you have two or three pieces of gear that have this HP on it, you could be boosting your troops, helps, uh, your troops health by 20% or more. 
Just get my coffee here. I feel like I've been rambling in this video and I want to apologize. Um, I just have a lot to say and I want to get it out because it's really important to understand how the equipment works, okay? So now you can clearly see in these four examples, apples to apples and apples to oranges, that uh, strengthening your gear is extremely important and having a strengthened piece of gear is stronger. Like example three to example one, look at that. That's a three star 100% blue gear compared to a, a zero star 100% purple gear. The blue gear is stronger. I want you to get that in your head. The blue gear is stronger than the purple gear with no stars. Blue gear with three stars, stronger than purple gear with no stars, okay? So I really want you to keep that in mind because it's also slightly stronger in stats than the gold gear like we talked about before. So, <laughs> to recap that part of the video, uh, before I jump into uh, the hows and how-tos and guide part, um, just want you to understand that using blue gear is not bad Blue gear can be extremely useful in this game because it is stronger while you work on leveling up your purple and yellow gear. The blue gear is going to be stronger, so don't skip out. All right, on to the other part of the video where we talk about how to level up your equipment, okay? So I'm going to go to my items here. We're going to jump over, and I'm going to show you the difference between blue to purple in strength and refinement. Okay, blue has an option to strengthen. Green and white do not have an option to strengthen. Blue has an option to strengthen. In order to strengthen your gear, you simply need a blue rarity quality of any other type of equipment that fits in that slot. So any other weapon slot that's blue will help me strengthen another blue item. I can use any of it. You know what? I'll do one right now. Here. We're going to refine this blue piece. I'm going to go from 8 might to 10 might. I'm going to gain one silver star. I just got strengthened, okay? But what I can't do on this blue piece of equipment is I cannot refine it. Now, refining it is when you take a piece of equipment that has a strength star. You have to have the strength star first. You click refine, and then you find a like... Oh, well, this is a great example. You need the identical piece of equipment with zero stars. If you have more than one star, it'll just cannibalize it and give you a refund for whatever you didn't use. But you need the identical piece of equipment, the same name... I need a bone talisman in order to refine my existing bone talisman. So what does that look like here? Well, in order to refine my Urukai broadsword I showed you in my previous example, I need to go ahead and use two other Urukai broadswords. I only have one Urukai broadsword, so I can't refine it. But I can strengthen this because I have eight other purple weapons that I can use, okay? So important stats to know. Gold, uh, you know what, the same thing, no real difference between purple and gold other than the stats are slightly better on gold and the abilities are slightly better on gold compared to purple, okay? Uh, okay, well that's that's most of the topics. What else do I talk about here? What else do I have on my notes for you? Just like and sub! Like me and sub me! Like and sub! Okay, all right, here we go. Oh yeah, the last part, I don't know if I covered it yet or not. But uh, you cannot level up your equipment with a mock battle training. You have to actually level up your equipment by fighting with it in the field. You need to be attacking tiles. Uh, and you need to be doing sweeps in order to level your stuff in the field. It takes time to level it up. You know, each piece of equipment takes longer. I've done about six battles with my Sauron. My purple helmet is at 51% utilization. And my uh, legendary or my, my, my gold gear is at 34% utilization. And by the way, I should probably take all these gold pieces of gear off that aren't refined or strengthened because my purple gear is going to be stronger. Like, check it out. This chest has six might and two focus. If I jump over to my 100% leveled up um, chest piece that has... Two stars and two refinements, uh, I can get a maximum of 16 might, okay? So, big difference. But you can also clearly see that the gold does have an additional stat, uh, main stat line here, okay? So, uh, all right, that's it. This video has been long enough. Give me the like and sub. I love you guys a long time. Stay tuned for more stuff coming up soon. Randy out.